Hi, everybody. I just wanted to um, do our first day of Christmas giveaway. So I'm going to flip my camera so you guys can kind of see what's going on. And we'll go from there and I'll show you the first project. All right. So I hope you guys can see this okay, which I'm thinking you probably cannot because of the lighting. Let me bring it in. There we go. Okay. So our first day of giveaway is going to be this beautiful decorated acetate box. So this box is very simple. And if you're going to give somebody some cards, it's just nice to dress them up and not just hand them a pile of cards, right? So these acetate boxes are actually, probably you've probably overlooked them to be quite honest. They're in the big book, so the annual book, and they're on page 152 and they're $9.50 and you get 10 clear boxes, okay? So that's a really, really good deal. So I'm gonna show you how we make this project. I'm just gonna change up the green just because, um, the scrap I had is actually garden green and not mossy meadow. So it's the only change I'm going to be making. So this is super cute. So these fit about five cards and envelopes in them. So whoever receives this package will also receive five assorted cards and envelopes from me. Okay, so this box is empty, but your box will be full when you get it. Okay, so um, again, just to, to refresh everybody's memory. Um, so I will draw one person who will um, win this prize based on uh, orders. So if you put in an order of $25 or more before shipping, handling, and taxes, using the hostess code that I have given you, you will earn a chance to win this prize with five cards inside. Um, as well, you will have your name put in the draw for a hostess to be the hostess for this event. Um, and then if we get to $500 in sales, then we will actually give away a stamp set and a die cut, which is amazing. So a couple of the um, items we're going to use tonight is uh, Stitch So Sweetly, which anybody who um, stamps with me quite often knows that this is one of my favorite sets. Um, it's the Arrowroot Cookie Set. Uh, I, this is what I refer to these as because it's what it reminds me of, uh, but more of these small ones, but they are uh, scalloped rectangles is really what they are. And everybody who stamps with me knows how proud you should be right now because I remembered these are rectangles and not squares. So they also come with these shapes here just to kind of give you an idea. So this is one whole sizzlet or die cut set, okay? So those are the shapes that you get. So we're just gonna use this biggest shape here of the rectangles. I'm gonna put those back on my magnetic sheet. I love these dies. I use these dies quite, quite often. So the stamp set that we're actually gonna use is going to be from the annual catalog and it's called Peaceful Bows. So this is a carryover set from last year. So anybody who's been around for a while um, probably has this set. I, it was one of my favorites from last year. And the dies that go with this one, I'll just put these on the mat. Um, we have some pine cones. Uh, the solid pine cones. These are some greeneries, um, some bigger pinery or pines, not pines, greenery, which this is what we're going to use tonight. Some more leaves and then a small pine cone. Okay. So I have actually gone ahead and I have pre-cut everything just to make things a little bit simpler for everybody. Just so you didn't have to sit here and watch me pre-cut or cut everything out. Um, so I'm just going to take my acetate box. So when you get them, they come flat. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but um, so what you do is actually just kind of stick your hand in there and then I actually just kind of flip it the opposite direction so then it becomes nice and sturdy. Okay, so then I can flop, push those flops in, just kind of crease on the ends and then we can put this in the edge here as such if it decides. Yeah, okay. So what we're going to use tonight is actually um, the poinsettia paper, which I know you're not surprised by. Um, so we're going to use the wood grain paper, which is actually the same one with the hollies on the back. Okay, so I know you probably don't think that this is very Christmassy or very, um, yeah, I guess Christmassy, but it's actually it's a very versatile paper. Uh, so there's my real red scallop from the um, Stitch So Sweetly. And then I'm just using a, the, another piece of this 
And then I have the dye from the Peaceful Bow set. And then again, my greenery that I have already pre-cut for us. And then we're going to be using this gorgeous um, ribbon. It's actually from, I believe the Forever Fern bundle. It's, um, it actually feels like gauze. Yeah. And then of course we have our little jingle bells, which are another carryover item from last year. We're gonna use one of the gold ones. And then I'm just gonna use some gold thread to uh, thread my, um, my bell on with. Okay, so let's get started. So I've got my box assembled. So I know I want the wood grain. So how I like to do this is I like to put my paper down and then I like to kind of um, find where I want that to go. And I just use my fingers to kind of make those creases. Okay, so I like to kind of have the center um, crease mark, the crease mark, sorry, where the papers meet. I kind of like to have those in the middle as best as I can. Um, just so that I can cover that up nicely. So I'm just going to take some tear and tape. And I'm going to just put that along the edge there. About there. I'm going to pull this back. Now, I don't want this too, too tight, but I don't want it too loose either. Okay? Because if it's too tight, then um, it just kind of buckles. So that part is done. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my real red piece. And this one I just laid flat on top. I didn't do any popping up. Sometimes popping up too much is um, kind of get in the way of things. So, and I want to make sure my hollies are um, going the right direction. So this piece um, of DSP here is uh, two and a half by three and three quarters. Um, this piece of my designer series paper is two and a half by 12, okay? So that is going to go about here on my card. My greenery, oh, we have to do our ribbon, but let's do our stamping first. So I'm gonna take my stamp set and I know I need, um, I'm gonna take that one, and I'm going to take my words and I want this one here. And I think that's all I need out of here. Okay. So here is my um, die that I need to stamp. So I'm gonna bring in my stamp. I'm gonna line that up. Now I will probably use early espresso for this. My early espresso actually needs to be re-inked, to be quite honest. I might actually, let me see if I can do that here. It's been quite a while since I've re-inked my early espresso ink pad, so I'll just let that sink in for just a minute. And of course, I have ink on me now. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so while that's kind of soaking in a little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, wrap my ribbon around my box. So I really like this ribbon because, like I said, it's like gauze. So what that means is that it's super easy to work with. So I'm not going to measure. I, I don't measure. Anybody who knows me knows I just kind of guess. So I'm going to kind of wrap this around here. Take my paper snips. If you don't have these Stampin' Up! paper snips, um, I have to tell you, they are the best paper snips ever. This is probably one of my very original sets or um, paper snips, and they're still so, so sharp. It's incredible, actually. And I thought about ordering another pair, and I thought, I really don't need another pair, to be quite honest. But um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of cut off the excess there. And there, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. So now this should have soaked in a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do our stamping. I'm going to move my box out of the way just for a second. Bring my ink pad in where we can see. So now this might be super, super juicy is okay because I like to have very um, vibrant um, verses. So this 
because I'm going this direction, landscape and not portrait, it's going to be a snug fit for this. So I have to just be very cautious to make sure that I don't um, go off my paper. Not bad. Okay. So now I'm going to clean my stamp because we always have to clean. And I've told you, but in case I forget, you've forgotten or I've Maybe I haven't told you, you always want to take your stamps off your blocks because the new um, adhesive they use on those stamps is super sticky and it will actually rip your stamp. Okay, so I'm going to actually come in with my greenery now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create um, these leaves here. So I'm going to go about here, about there, maybe about there. Okay. And that's just random. That was no intent on that one. Okay. And then I'm going to close up my early espresso. I'm going to put that back away and I'm going to grab my crumb cake. What I'm going to do with my crumb cake is I'm going to just kind of fill in some of those spots, just like that. Okay, so that is, whoops, it is, let's put that back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some uh, lighting fixed here, I think, because I feel like this is not working out so well. So I might actually just put a piece of black paper up there to see if I can reflect the um, light away. Okay, so this is our, so this is not the box, um, the piece that we need. So what we can do is we can actually go ahead and adhere this part to, um, actually I'm gonna put this, do this in some sort of an order. Okay, so my bow, because it's nice and flexible, I can actually move my bow around to accommodate my greenery a little bit. So when I say that, I can actually put my greenery. Now here, I think I actually did tie an actual bow, which I forgot about. Go ahead and glue this down. So I want that to go in between here, like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that down, and I'm actually going to flip it over, and I'm going to push down on the inside of the box. So that kind of just helps it adhere a little bit because the box is kind of, you know, flimsy and stuff, right? So, um, okay, so then I'm gonna put this off-centered. And I think what I'm gonna actually do is if I'm not, I thought I had some dimensionals close by. I do not. Okay, so I am going to just glue this down flat not interfere. I'm offsetting that again. And then I'm going to kind of come in here with this bow, I mean this bell. Now I have this gold thread, which is from the two pack ribbon in the um, Christmas book. And it's lovely. However, it's a little bit more complicated to deal with because it does, it's, an, it's designed to actually um, unravel, if you will, um, as the more you touch it. So it's supposed to look frayed, which is, 
beautiful. However, it makes it a little bit more challenging to work with when you're not really sure what you want to do yet. So, but it's very, very fine and absolutely stunning. We did use it in a class, a couple classes. Okay, so now I'm going to tie this here. Tie this again. Let's make sure I don't lose it. And see if I can maybe tie this in a bow instead as an alternative. What do you think? There, that's not so bad. Okay, I'm going to trim this just a smidge. There, okay. So there is my box. All decorated. So again, if you're going to give somebody some uh, cards for the holidays as a gift, this is a great way to do it. So again, this box will fit five, roughly five cards and envelopes. Um, so whoever receives this box will also receive five cards and envelopes from yours truly. I'm just trying to cut off a little bit of that. There we go. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and again, to receive this item, uh, I will be putting names in a draw. So all you have to do is put in a $25 order before shipping, handling, and taxes via my website using the hostess code. And I will uh, pick one person to receive this item with five cards in it. And your name will be entered into the draw to be the hostess for this month, for the month of December. And you will receive a gift from me as well. So you have three opportunities right there. And if we get to $500 in sales um, over the next two weeks, I will actually give you guys um, an opportunity. Somebody will win the stamp set, Cherish the Season, and the Coordinating Dice. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, hope you guys like that project and I hope you're having a great day and come back tomorrow for another project. Okay, we'll talk soon. Bye.